Hey guys, today I'm gonna be teaching you how to build the shopping modules as like the ones I built in Sahara 2.0. So let's get started. So these are the items you need: hoppers, droppers, redstone comparators, repeaters, red block of redstone, sticky pistons, and normal blocks. So let's get started. First of all, uh. We need a line of uh, hoppers running straight. This will be where the items travels. Now next we will have to build the item sorters, which is extremely easy to build. Just follow my steps. And this is how you build a simple item sorter. I put the red shoulders right there. And oh yeah, I have to put a hopper right here. And right here. Okay. Oh, oh sorry, right here. So, uh, this system right here will sort out the items. Easy enough. Then we need to make the actual dropper system which will drop out the items. So what I did here, oh wait, I forgot one thing. So what we'll do right here is get a torch, take a six sticky piston and put it right here. It will extend and put a redstone block on top. Uh, put some blocks here and get, take some redstone dust two repeaters one on one take and one on three takes and then join them together like this and then take compar take your comparators put one facing that way and put put redstone dust right there and another comparator that way and a block right here that's the extending more uh, circuit which will just extend the signal because the signal is a uh, one tick pulse and it's not very suitable so now what you have to do is Now you can put your collection system around here somewhere and then you can also put your water stream right now. Then now for this thing to drop 16 items we need to make a comparator clock which is extremely easy to make. If you don't know what a comparator clock is why are you watching my channel because I am mostly doing restaurant related stuff. Okay, maybe not. You can watch my channel. Never mind. Now just do this. Easy enough. And then carry the signal till here. Put a repeater right here. And a block right here. And that's the module. Extremely easy to do. Also, yeah, I forgot one thing. Here, you will put the item you want. For example, I want... For the item sorter, I want redstone blocks. Okay, so you can put one redstone blocks block right here. Okay, one redstone block, and then get any random items. And to not, for example, if I just put uh, for the empty slots, if I just put some sticky piston, someone could just throw sticky piston into the system, and it will also 
think that the item is there so what we could do is just rename an item to give it some name so no one will know what uh, wait huh. so no one will know what the sorting items are okay I am not making any sense even to myself just follow my steps okay do a random name on some items that's the system right here so for example let's say I put and yeah also I put the items which you want to dispense right here is enough so for example if I put one redstone block into the system it should drop out 16 anvils this way let's check and as you can see there are only 16 anvils in my hardware so that's how the system works now you can also extend it upwards is enough oh wait let me stick it this time Now you can extend it upwards like how I am doing. So now if you want to drop out 32 items, you can just repeat whatever is done in the bottom layer over it. Yeah, here. And you can just repeat what was done on the bottom one like this and just extend it out put a drop right here bring the single out as usual and put a repeater right here so now it should uh, it should drop if I just activate the system, it should drop 16 anvils and 16. Oh, wait, what did I put here? And 16 norm those blocks. So you can just replace it with whatever block of your choice, and it will drop out 32 of them. Let's see this in action. So let's see how much we got. Oh, yeah. And as you can see, we got 16 blocks and 16 anvils. So that's the system right here. Also, I also found a bug while making the system that if I just extend it another layer more, like this, and and just do it the same way you will notice that this upper layer will only drop out 15 items i have no idea why it does that and i believe bugs are the reason for that so let me show you so i'll remove those I these items from here for testing and I'll put 60 for security pistons here. Now you will see if I put one that's in block into the system, let's see how much it dispenses. As you can see, it only dispenses 15 security pistons. You can even see there are no more dispens. So, so what I did for here was just i just created a long pulse oh wait i'll i just put a line of repeaters this way and a block below that and then pushed the comparator one block backwards like this and then i put line of repeaters 
like this and set them all to 4 ticks. Now once they are 4 ticks, I believe this should work. Oh and yeah, also put a redstone dust right here. Let's see if this works now. And gone into the system. And yes, we got 16 sticky pistons. So yeah, whenever you go and whenever you go one layer higher than this, this layer and whenever whatever layer you are going another higher, you will have to do this this type of model in that. Not, not this type because I have no idea why. So this thing will now drop out 48 times. Times now you can build another model on top of it and it will drop 64 items then. So that's how this system works. And thank you for watching. Bye.